Finally home. I'm really not sure how to feel about this, though. After all we've been through. Yeah. Leon, you must feel like your burden's been lifted a little, huh? Lady Saya leads. I've never once thought being the Prince's bodyguard was any kind of burden. Whether in the Imperial capital or away, I'll always gladly do whatever it takes to protect the Prince. Being a bodyguard is different from babysitting. Make sure you don't overprotect him. I'm not babysitting anyone, George. And even if I was, so long as the Prince is safe, that's all that matters. <laughs> Isn't my nephew a lucky boy, then? Sure is. Oh, George. What? When we get back to Sofalena, you'd better watch how you talk. Be polite and use the proper forms of address, okay? You know you are ever so right, Leon. George may have forgotten, but I am the younger sister of our glorious queen. One's language must always reflect one's social standing. Wouldn't you agree, Sir George Prime of the Queen's Knights? Aw, oh, shut up, Silides. Hmm. How dare you address royalty that way? Well, that's the George we all know and love, so he can get away with it when it's just the three of us. But if Her Majesty hears a Queen's Knight addressing the Prince improperly, there will be trouble, George. And think of Farid, too. After all, he's the one who recommended you to the Queen's Knights in the first place. Huh. Don't worry. I'm used to court service, you know. I can take care of myself. But geez, lighten up. I thought the Queendom of Felena had more of a laid-back reputation than this. Considering the fact that they let someone like you become a knight, I think it's laid back enough. But even I'm afraid of my own sister right now. We really can't afford to make Arshtab mad. Look sharp now, guys. We're about to arrive. All hands! Prepare to dock! I haven't been in this country for too long, so uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't this kind of a pathetic welcome for the Queen's sister and the Prince? Yeah, well, what else can you expect? In Felena, male royalty aren't in line for the throne, so they aren't very important. And neither am I. His Royal Highness the Prince and Her Royal Highness Sialides have returned. Ah, you're back. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> you're looking well, my boy.
What, this? This is nothing, my boy. <laughs> uh, Your Majesty, I think perhaps you better stop before you crush him. Ah, Silite. I'm glad to see you looking well, too. George, Leon, thank you for seeing the Prince home safely. Yes, of course, sire. Your Majesty, Commander of the Queen's Knights, George Prime, returning to post, sire. George. What in the world's gotten into you? I don't know. I was told to mind my manners. <laughs> you never were one to listen to other people's advice, so why start now? Hmm. But on second thought, though, a little bit of prudence might be in order while you're back in the Imperial capital. More than a few nobles aren't very happy with you being a newcomer at all. All right, I'll try to watch it. Wouldn't want to get you in trouble, your majesty. <laughs> Thanks, George, but I don't think you will have to worry too much about that. Uh, pardon me, your commandership. Shouldn't we... Hmm. Ah, yes, you're right. Your mother, I mean her majesty, is waiting for you. You should hurry along and see her now. But, Your Majesty, we, uh... Sorry, now's not the time. I know what you've all seen, but there's nothing I can do about it right now. Our first priority is to see Her Majesty. His Royal Highness the Prince and Her Royal Highness Silenes have returned! Now come closer. Let me get a good look at you. Oh, my son. I've been so worried. I can't tell you how relieved I am that you're back and safe. Sialides, thank you for all you've done. I wasn't quite so worried about the Prince, knowing that you would be with him. No need to thank me. I love my nephew too, you know. <laughs> and thank you too, George. I'm grateful that you took on this task, hardly worthy of your talents. No thanks necessary, Majesty. Protecting the royal family is my sworn duty as one of the Queen's knights. And you, Leon. Y yes You're doing a fine job as the Prince's bodyguard. Well done. I'm sure the day will soon come when you'll be promoted to a full-fledged Queen's Knight. But, Your Majesty, I already consider it a great honor, one I hardly deserve just to be allowed to be His Royal Highness's bodyguard. <laughs> it is such a great relief to me to know that the Prince is in such good hands. Please continue to take good care of him. Yes, Your Majesty! Now then, please report on your visit to Lord Lake. What's the matter? Simply tell me what you witnessed then. Arshdot. One of the most beautiful towns in the Queendom of Felena, known for its pristine waters and lush woods? Damn, I heard it was bad. I never imagined it was this bad, though. Yeah, this is definitely Lord Lake, the town that used to be one of the most beautiful places in the Queendom. At least it used to be.
I thank you for traveling such a great distance. My name is Talgil. I've been somewhat of a town representative here ever since his lordship passed away. I would love to offer to show you around a bit, but sadly, this town needs no guide. As you can see, there is nothing here but scorched dirt and bleary townsfolk. I'm afraid our residents might be rather impolite to you at times. I do hope you can forgive them. If anyone deserves punishment for this, it's me. So tragic, to see something so magnificent reduced to this. What's this? It's Rovere's mansion. Rovere used to be the lord of this region. Huh, I've heard that name before. That's right, he and his entire family were executed, weren't they? Unbelievable. This is even worse than the rumors. That used to be a lake. The water was so clear you could even see the fish on the bottom. There were so many ducks and geese, too. And over there, there was a deep forest. 
We were just kids the last time we were here, so we wanted to go explore it, of course. But just as the prince and I were about to set out, his attendant stopped us. Farid yelled at us later, remember? You're not supposed to let them catch you, he told us. <laughs> yeah, sounds like Farid. <laughs> Lord Rovere said the same thing and laughed. What in the world could have happened here? Unfortunately, this town has indeed felt Arstadt's wrath. What's that about? Huh? Is something wrong? They seem to be panicked about something. Let's go check it out.